Hi, I'm Joe English with EM All Access. Today we talk with Victor Torregrosa from Intel about their consumer electronics show activation and how they took over the social media airwaves. Let's listen in and see what we had to say. The consumer electronics show is a big deal for Intel. Big time. Big, big deal. Kind of thinking about the history of it, it used to be okay to just build a booth. Um, now it's not enough to just do an exhibit, is it? No, you've got to go big or go home. Yep. And Intel's approach is really to, to dig deep on the experiences that our technology deliver for people, put it in their hands, put it on stage, really showcase the amazing things that people do with technology, whether it's in music, in sports, fashion, editing, anything. I mean, people are using technology and um, at CES we really put those stars, those innovators, front and center pretty much unscripted and letting them share the experiences that they make happen in their daily lives with Intel Inside. So it's been really fun to have that, that freedom to let people really share their stories of what they're doing with our technology. And, and doing that obviously requires a booth that is, uh, facilitates that. It's not just a sea of demos, right? right? And, and in years past, it may have been a sea of demos. It's certainly different now. Can you tell us what the challenge was this year? I know you re rebuilt and redesigned. Sure. Yeah, great question. So we had, you know, we've got new management and really the focus is on, on showcasing the experiences. But we didn't want to have just a booth. We wanted to have something that was, as I say, we eat with our eyes, whether it's a cool sports car, a plate of steamed asparagus with cracked pepper and Parmesan, a little bit of olive oil, a nice pair of shoes, a little dog. So when people walked into the hall, we wanted them to see something amazing and something that would really be unexpected but still authentic to the Intel brand. And what we delivered was something that uh, Time Magazine actually said it was something from the future that landed in the present at CES. You know, You've also one, got stages, right? Yeah. And talk, talk just for a minute about the stages, how, the, how this plays out, because you, you are telling these stories where you're inviting people in to tell these stories. So how do you, how do you frame that conversation? So we, we look at the passion points that we have, and these passion points are, they cross the world, they cross geographies and cultures. And it's really, you know, people love music, we love sports, we love fashion, and we love technology. And the technology experience is the thread, the common thread across all of those passion points. People are doing things, amazing things with technology. So we worked with our agency, once we have our objectives and strategies ratified by our management, we look at, all right, let's cast a net, and it's not just North America, but let's cast a net worldwide to see who's doing amazing things with technology and will want to participate with us at CES. We had a musical act. The a vocalist was from Turkey. The violinist was from Canada. And the mixer and composer was from California. So they were actually doing what they do before, you know, in November and December, and then they came and performed their, their music live with us at the spotlight. So that's one example of getting these people who are doing what they do already with Intel technology, but putting them front and center at our booth, which we call the spotlight. I call that really the living room or the dining room or the kitchen table of the booth. So in our, in our 12,000 square feet of space, yes, we've got demos and we've got counters, places for people to experience technology, and, but in this living room, which had arena seating, really big comfortable bench seating for people to sit and experience what people are doing with Intel inside. Mm -hmm. This was the place where um, we featured those innovators. Yeah. And it, was, it wasn't repeated too much. And there was no PowerPoint. It was purely what <clears throat> showcasing what people are doing with Intel. That's and it was a phenomenal. lot of fun. So cool. Talk about social media for a minute. You, the last couple of years, it seems like two to three years, Intel's been kind of dominating the airwaves at CES, which is, which is amazing because you're, you have all these competitors, big companies that are spending huge amounts of money to, to have this conversation at CES, but what I'm seeing is lots and lots of Intel on the airwaves. What, how are you monitoring it? How are you making that, that happen? So we're working more so, um, ever more closely with our social media colleagues to share our plans, mm -hmm. share the content, share the themes, mm -hmm. share the product focus area. So whether it's wearables, internet of things, cool client devices, user experiences, we're aligned with them much more, much more sooner. So once those themes are ratified, they can then now be prepared to target, target various channels and be ready to broadcast snackable, shareable pieces of content that they can get to their communities. And I just finished a panel with Chuck and Brad from our social media team, and they described a follow the sun concept where they're taking 
these snackable, shareable pieces of content that are cool, that are fun, and sharing it with our geographies around the world so that it's a constant, focused uh, shift on the social media sharing. Yeah. So we're able to get, as it's more focused and shared worldwide, we're able to get more eyeballs, more people experiencing those rich pieces of shareable content. Yeah. Let's talk about some specifics of some things. I turned on, I think it was CNN or one of the news channels, and I see Katie Linendahl with a 3D printed spider dress. Yes. Is this what we, what I, what I was seeing? Yes. yes. Tell me about this. You know, there's a big focus on wearables yeah. and the Intel Edison platform. You mm -hmm. know, this was one of the proof points um, from Anouk who designed the dress. Mm -hmm. And the dress is beautiful, it's stunning, but it's, it was getting so much um, love online and it was just part of Demoland. Mm -hmm. So we decided to bring the dress, put her up on stage with the designer and one of, one of our engineers and really talk about what the dress does and how it was a prototype based on Intel Edison. And it, it just, once we did that, we got it out of Demoland and put it on stage. People were able to experience it much, much more. Yeah. And of course, all the phones came out, yep. all the cameras came yep. out, and then those people shared that experience with their followers. Yeah. So having rich, focused content on our technology, but that's real, and letting people to experience that in a bigger forum, that also helped our social media reach as well. And the so, dress was actually, it was stunning it as well. Beautiful. So it you go beautiful. back to my comment, we with our yeah. eyes, yes. it was a very beautiful thing to experience. So how can you possibly top this? How, what, what, what are you going to do now for the next few months to figure out uh, where to go next? So we've already started planning, but you know, our culture, the culture at Intel is one of continuous improvement. Mm -hmm. We don't do sequels, we don't do what's, what's been done before, but we like to build and evolve the program and bring rich new experiences to people. That's what they come for. You know, people are traveling to these, to these shows to engage with us and talk to us and ex get their hands on the, on the technology. Mm -hmm. They don't want to see what's been done before. And our research has shown people come to Intel to see what's next. What's the near future? What's coming up that's really exciting? So we like to be able to showcase that and not do what's been done before. So we're planning with our management. We're really excited about what's coming. And, and again, no sequels. We start fresh. That's awesome. Well, congratulations. It's amazing to see. It took a village, wait. Joe. Thank I, you. Yes, I can't wait to see it next year. Me too. Yeah. Good Thank job. you. Yeah.